So today, just wanted to talk about uh, two watch collection uh, back in 2018 when I got into this, watching YouTube videos, getting on Facebook pages, and seeing all the wide variety of watches that were out there and the way that people collect and stored everything. I saw guys with these watch boxes, like what I'm presenting these two watches to you today in, and uh, man, that's... That's the answer. I need to get one of those. So I did. And I got this watch box with uh, 12 slots. Just cheap. Like $25 off Amazon. You know, no big whoop. And I was like, man, I need to fill that up. So I was going to talk about that today. Uh, before I do, quick uh, wristwatch check. We're in the uh, green or Aquas today. 39.5 millimeter. Fits perfectly on me. Got the Salita movement in there. Keeping good time. Good to go. So anyways, yeah, I got this watch box. It's kind of cheap, kind of janky, whatever. Um, and I started filling it up with, you know, $200 Seikos, $100 Orients, things like that. And I had this bad boy. I probably had like literally all of Orion's catalog. I had the Ray 2, I had the Defender, I had the Sun and Moon, and yeah, I had to cut down on all that, and I decided eventually I just like quality over quantity, and I think that's what people try to get at with a two-watch collection, you know. Looking at this, this is basically six thousand dollars you can't even get a, a one rolex for that at that price even at retail right so you know to me i'm always looking for value for money and i think this represents that so this here is the uh grand seiko sbga 283 and uh i've you know you, i've done videos on this i did the unboxing when i got it um I got this used off eBay, I, I would say lightly used, a lot of it was still um, in plastic, and this has been a great watch. I got this, you know, fall of last year, which is 2022, it's now 2023. Um, to me, I, I know a lot of people want something that are like rugged, utilitarian, dress, ca dress slash, you know, casual sport watch, and I think this does that. In the, in the same ways that, you know, a date just would do. It's a classic layout. You know, you can see Seiko's grammar of design just on the uh, the dial there. It's a champagne dial, which um, I really like. I was kind of nervous because, you know, sort of taking a, a, a chance, I went from the, the Sarb with that cream dial, and my aging eyes is hard to see, but um, with this, it's easy to see. I mean, the way they polish the indices and they catch light and everything, you can't not notice it. So I can always, you know, read this at a glance. Uh, easy to use, quick to set. It's got the spring drive. It's super accurate. I don't think I've adjusted it once that I, since I got it and I keep it on a winder. So I basically set it once and haven't had to reset it since. Uh, yeah, it's been over a year and it's me yeah it's it's amazing spring drive is amazing so you can see some little scratches on the uh, buckle there on the clasp um, but it's holding up pretty well and you know I do wear it in rotation I have about five watches now so I don't wear it every day I don't want to scratch it up but um yeah for sure does everything you'd want it to do Got a lot of water resistance. You never have to worry about it, you know, getting wet or anything. Super accurate again, like I said. Date function, for those of you that just have to have a date on your daily watch, this will do it for you, you know? And I like that classic old man look of the uh, champagne dial. Kind of reminds me of something from the 70s, which I'm also from the 70s. So, yeah, I mean, if... if you think you need a Rolex, you don't. If you think you need a date just to do that kind of stuff, you don't. I got this for just under 3000 So this is 
what I like to call my perfect $6,000 watch collection because both of these are about three grand. Okay. 39 millimeters uh, fits well on my wrist. You know, I can take this off and show you. Again, Boris Aquas. You can see tons of videos on that. I'll do one eventually. You know, honestly, if I would have been doing videos of every single watch I've had over the last couple of years, I'd have quite the channel going on. You know, but I thought, I don't know, recently I've just been wanting to do more of these videos. But, yep, perfect 7 inch wrist, 39 millimeter. I wear it a little loose, just a little bit below the knuckle, so it slides around. But, um, office, jeans, you know, khakis, dress pants, whatever, it'll do it. You know, takes a licking and keeps on ticking, so they say. And then, um, not to uh, confuse you guys here, I'll get rid of this one here, but I do like to show it on the wrist. Uh, anywho, but yeah, so that's your casual um, dress sport watch there. And then I would say, after that, you know, Tudor Black Bay. So, again, a bajillion videos on this guy. Um, 39 millimeter. Ton of water resistance, super accurate, keeps good time, robust. This one I do wear a lot. You can kind of see on the clasp, you know. I don't get them to be uh, safe queens, you know, just like I wouldn't get a big truck to be a parking lot princess. Um, they get worn. So, but yeah, love these two. Perfect to watch collection. Um, you know, kind of going back to when I started, I watching all these uh, YouTube channels and you know the way people did their collections. Kind of getting one of everything. Like, I mean, I had a pilot's watch, I had chronographs, I had dress watch, I had dive watches, and then I think just over time, as you kind of mature into, if you want to call this a hobby. Or addiction I think is probably more apt for me um, I've just come to the conclusion that I don't need a chronograph I'm never gonna use it I had a an Omega Speedmaster reduced and it was pretty it was old though I wasn't sure you know if the movement had ever been serviced I know they use like an ETA with the uh, little mechanism on top I can't think of the name of it to do the chronograph and anywho I was always concerned about oh what if I have to go have this service it's going to be almost as expensive as the watch so I ended up selling that um you know it just wasn't my thing so no chronographs no pilots watches because they're typically on leather I had a Laco um, and I always felt like it had a brand, a brown leather strap and I always felt like I had to wear, you know, brown shoes with it, brown belt. I'm kind of old school that way, you know, match your shoes with your belt. And then at that point your watch and I don't know, I couldn't deal with that kind of pressure. So again, I flipped that and yeah, I just decided over time I would rather just have dive watches and or sort of what you call the everyday sport dressy casual like the Seiko Saab or in this case I, I had that and I replaced it with the uh, Grand Seiko because I mean if you have a Saab and then you go get a Seiko you're just gonna you're just not gonna like that Saab anymore because you're you know again your taste change and develop and mature and it's like why I never wore it so again I sold it got something else I've talked about that before but yeah I would rather just have something like this and a, and a dive watch or in my case, many dive watches. So I do have more watches. Um, but if I were to have to sell everything or try to reduce it, I'd probably reduce it down to just this two watch collection. And I think it would serve any purpose I or anyone else would ever need as far as events to wear to or, you know, things you would do with it, you know? So... Yeah, I would say SBGA 283 with the champagne dial. And then Tudor Black Bay 58. You got your black dial dive watch. It's going to do most of everything you want it to do. And then you've got your 
dressy slash sport casual watch, you know? And then just as a fun note, we can take you a little, on a little tour of this, uh, like I said, this little $25 watch box that I got off Amazon. You know, not bad to start off. I've got something different now. I'll sh I can show you guys in a later video, but I'm not trying to make this too long. But uh, one thing I do like about this is it's got this little drawer where you can put all your straps and everything in there. So I've got that. Rings, class rings, what have you. So, you know, I'll zoom in a little bit there. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I got this. I started off with one watch and then I got the box after watching all those videos. And this is something I wanted to mention. Like, if you do that... If you're just starting off in this and somehow you come across these, my videos, if I can give you any kind of advice, don't get a watch box when you only have one watch because I felt immense pressure to fill this bad boy up. And I did, but with cheap watches. And then I, I remember having 12, 15 watches, looking at them, they're all Orients and, you know, I had a Vostok, Komandersky, what a, just... If you ever have a Vostok, throw it away. That is a piece of crap. I don't care what they say. I know the stem is wobbly and it's supposed to be. But if you have a lot of watches and you're trying to wear it in rotation, you're not going to want to set the date on that thing every day. There's no quick set date on those. You have to, uh, you know, turn through it on the crown and, and all the days and try to get there. So anyways, I ended up selling that one too for not a lot of money. That was definitely a loss. But yeah. If you're starting out, you only have a couple watches, don't get a watch box and then feel like pressured to like fill it up. Because I did. And this box was full of, as they, sh as they say, you know, shitters. So um, I always stress quality over quantity. And that's what to me this two watch collection here would represent. Is if you're trying to get some quality watches, you know, you, you don't need a lot. These two will do it for you, you know, and um, yeah, so SBGA 283, Grand Seiko, or Grand Seiko, and then uh, Tudor Black Bay 58, it's going to do it all for you, you know. On a side note, this, I did spend time, like, sort of cleaning this up, so I will show this, even though, you know, it's not directly watch related, but this kind of goes back to... When I was watching those videos, I saw these guys with their watch boxes just filled with all these watches. I was like, man, this is, this is like an accoutrement that as a man I need to have. Why do I not have this? How, I was, how did I miss the boat on this, right? Um, when I was a kid, I remember my dad had, not a watch box, but he had a little box like this in his top dresser drawer. And let me back up here. This is nothing special here I'm about to show you, but just kind of give you an idea of the kind of box that I felt like I had to curate as a man. It's sort of a silly idea, but like something like this, I had a bunch of, um, he had pictures in it. You know, that's me and my wife at my high school reunion from many years ago. Um, my 20th reunion was oof, 2017 or something, because I graduated in 97, so that's how old I am. Stickers, I got old licenses and, um, you know, name tags and stuff, uh, whatnot there. Passport, it's a pretty sweet little picture. I don't know where I got this from. Um, but yeah, I thought like this is like what a guy has. He's got a, a box full of things like foreign currency, passports, you know. I used to teach at University of South Florida, so old name tags. This is super fun. Bet you haven't seen one of these in a minute. A Blockbuster Rewards card. We don't even have Blockbuster anywhere. Um, old foreign coins. You know, I used to live in Korea, so I got a lot of those. <sighs> this is an old uh, pill bottle for my dog that we lost last year. This was my baby. This is her baby teeth. I'm not going to talk about that because I'll start crying. That's ridiculous. Again... Old um, faculty cards or whatever, but it is, you know, golf tees. I thought this is sort of the, the sort of thing that a, a man procures, you know. I got my old, um, well, not mine, but this is for my son, his old uh, 
tag that they put on him when he was a baby in the hospital when he was first born. You know, buttons, KY-102. Everybody's got to have the uh, sex symbol button. If you don't, what are you really doing with your life? Mario button. Anyways, who cares about that stuff? We're going to talk about watches. But this, yeah, as a kid, I thought, okay, if I'm going to have a box, I should have things like this in it, right? And then I saw these videos on YouTube. I'm like, oh, I need to have a watch box. I got one. Filled it up with shitters. Ended up selling them. So, long story short, quality over quantity. Get you a Grand Seiko and a Tudor. Class dismissed. Good to go. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. I'll talk to you nerds later.